Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you guys probably know, when I was in Japan last year for Japan Mobility Show, the most exciting news and the most exciting car that I saw was the Mazda RX-7 concept car, which was called Iconic SP. Yes, I know it wasn't officially an RX-7 concept car, but I'm calling it that way because now we have some confirmation from Japan, from Best Car Magazine, that the Mazda Iconic SP will indeed become a production car with the name RX-7. Of course, this is somewhat speculative at this moment, but Best Car Magazine have had some really good track record speculating and guessing future concept cars and future production cars. So I'm kind of confident that this Iconic SP will indeed turn into RX-7. And more importantly, rather than being a full EV or EV with a rotary engine as a generator charging the batteries, they're saying that there's some really good evidence that this RX-7 will actually be gas-powered, rotary engine-powered sports car with some possibility of having a mild hybrid or 48-volt system. So this is super exciting because we are all waiting for Mazda to bring RX-7. And once again, I apologize if my pronunciation for Mazda is more Canadian, which is Mazda. I know in the US it's Mazda and in Japan it's Mazda. So there are many ways to pronounce it, but I'm gonna just stick with my Canadian way, which is Mazda. Anyhow, let me share more details with you. Let's go. Welcome back. So this is one of the most exciting news because I remember as a kid growing up, loving and being inspired by the Mazda RX-7. Of course, I love the Toyota Supra and Celica as well, but the RX-7 was very special because of the rotary engine. And many of us for many years wanted Mazda to come back with a rotary engine. And it seems hopeful when they did introduce that car for the electric vehicle Mazda MX-30. But of course we found out that um, the rotary engine was only used to generate electricity to charge the battery and not actually power the vehicle. So that was a big disappointment. And we were all still hoping that at some point Mazda will find a way to bring a rotary engine powered vehicle, not EV. And looks like that's gonna happen with the all new RX-7 when it returns in 2026 or maybe 2027. They're not quite sure about the timing yet, but they are quite certain that the design will look like the Mazda Iconic SP that was shown last fall at the Japan Mobility Show. And you'll see some of the rendering from Best Car Magazine here, which looks identical to the Iconic SP, just, just maybe with some production trims and design changes to make it more realistic. So it looks fantastic because I know at the Japan Mobility Show when I was walking around with Kirk Rifles, we all agreed that um, Iconic SP was the best looking concept car, the most exciting concept car, and also the most promising concept car, because we are all very sure that will become the Mazda RX-7. So according to Best Car Magazine, once again, which has a good track record, they're saying that um, it will be 2026 production, maybe into 2027, and that their initial belief that it will be a fully electric car, which is combined with a rotor engine that's actually charging the battery. So that was the initial thinking, but now they're saying, no, the new information they're getting is saying that it will be a rotary powered vehicle. So the rotor engine will actually power the car, but with electric motors possibly assisting as a 48 volt mile system as we already see in many vehicles around the world because many cars do have a mild hybrid system nowadays including Mazda's own CX-70 and CX-90s which do have mild hybrid system and they're saying that the setup might be a little bit different with the possibility of two motors located in the front axle one for each wheels on the front left and front right and that will act as a mild hybrid as you first begin to accelerate and then the engine will kick in and take over and then actually power the vehicle that's one scenario but they're also saying that this kind of system may allow the car to be driven in fully electric mode with only the two motors in the front driving the car, such as situations where maybe you're coming back late at night or early morning you want to start up a car and you don't want to wake up the neighbors, you can drive in a fully electric mode, or of course the car could actually be driven solely and completely by the rotary engine with no assist or no help from the electric motor. So those are three possible scenarios that the Best Car Magazine is talking about. If we do end up with a situation where the car has two electric motors in the front and also the actual rotary part in the rear wheels. They're also speculating some other possible configuration, but that's the best guess right now from them. And I think I agree with them. That makes the most sense. So basically what do we have? A Mazda Iconic SB concept car turning into production vehicle with a production type bumpers and maybe lights and so forth will change. Maybe the 
length and the height will change a little bit just because you may have to configure it to make sure that it fits with North America, with um, Asia, and also European sizes. So those are some of the things that will change. Also like wheel sizes and interior will have to change to make sure that it's production ready. But aside from that, what you see here as a concept form is pretty close to what we're going to get in 2026. And that's a great news because many of us really love the design of the iconic SB and we were taken back by this beautiful shape that seems to mimic the old RX-7 but also combine some of the Miata feel as well. So we've got this kind of really iconic design and look that only Mazda can come up with that is very different from other models, especially if you compare it to something like a GR Supra or Nissan Z or Z. They're all more classic sports car design, whereas Iconic SP or this potential new RX-7 has much more of organic and round feel that I think is much more suited to the Mazda brand. And so those are some of the things that we speculate will happen with the Mazda RX-7. And also they're saying the pricing will be around $35,000 to $40,000 US price range. Again, that's a big F. And if that's the case, then the pricing is way more reasonable than the Toyota MR2 that's supposed to be also returning around 2026, 2027. And I've been talking about that one. And that one seems to be priced much higher, as much as maybe even $70,000, $80,000 US as a limited edition model. And that would be a lot more expensive vehicle to purchase. But in comparison to that, the iconic SP or the new RX-7 or whatever it's going to be called, uh, could be priced very reasonable and therefore he could hit the sweet spot for North Americans who are loving master product and who wants the old RX-7 name returned to the market. So let me know in the comments below if you think this is all exciting for you and let me know if you want to find out a little bit more as I will continue to dig further into what this potential RX-7 return could look like because I'm super excited, you should too, and maybe in 2026 and 2027 time frame we could have a fiercely competitive market because we will see the potential for return of the Celica, of the MR2, uh, RX-7, and who knows what else. There's even a talk of a Nissan Silvia coming back in the market as well. So there could be a lot of interest in the small sports car market, and that would be absolutely amazing. Anyhow, if you liked my video, give me a thumbs up, make some comments, and if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe as well. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.